Protesters hold signs against Trump and Pence during a march against white nationalism in New York City credit Reuters protesters decrying hatred and racism converged around the country on Sunday, saying they felt compelled to counteract the white supremacist rally that spiraled into deadly violence in Virginia. The gatherings spanned from a march to President Donald Trump's home in New York to candlelight vigils in several cities. In Seattle, police made arrests and confiscated weapons as Trump supporters and counter-protesters converged downtown. Some focused on showing support for the people whom white supremacists condemn. Other demonstrations were pushing for the removal of Confederate monuments, the issue that initially prompted white nationalists to gather in anger this weekend in Charlottesville, Virginia. Still other gatherings aim to denounce fascism and a presidential administration that organizers feel has let white supremacists feel empowered. People need to wake up, recognize that and resist it as fearlessly as it needs to be done, said Carl Dix, a leader of the Refuse Fascism group organizing demonstrations in New York, San Francisco and other cities. This can be allowed to fester and to grow because we've seen what happened in the past when it was allowed. Conservative Joey Gibson, left, looks on after Black Lives Matter protester Arthur Ford, center, took the stage during a pro-Trump rally in Seattle credit app. It has to be confronted, said Dix, a New Yorker who spoke by phone from Charlottesville on Sunday afternoon. He had gone there to witness and deplore the white nationalist rally on a Saturday that descended into bloodshed. In Seattle, a rally previously planned for Sunday by the conservative pro-Trump group known as Patriot Prayer drew hundreds of counter-protesters. A barricade separated the two groups as police officers stood by dressed in black riot gear. At one intersection, police ordered crowds to disperse. The Seattle Times reported that officers used pepper spray on some marchers. It wasn't immediately clear how many people had been arrested. A vigil is held in downtown Philadelphia in support of the victims of violence at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville Credit Getty in Denver. Several hundred demonstrators gathered beneath the statue of the Rev. Martin Luther King Jr. in City Park and marched about two miles to the state capitol. In Fort Collins, Colorado, marchers chanted everyone is welcome here. No hate, no fear. One demonstrator's sign said, make racists ashamed again. In New York, protesters marched from several locations in Manhattan to Trump Tower, demanding the president denounce white nationalist groups involved in the violent confrontations in Charlottesville. One sign read call out evil. Helen Rubinstein, 62, was among hundreds of people who marched through downtown Los Angeles. She said her parents were Holocaust survivors, and SHES worried that extremist views were becoming normal under Trump's presidency. Charlottesville far-right protest I blame Donald Trump 100% because he emboldened all these people to incite hate, and they're now promoting violence and killing, Ms. Rubinstein said. Charlottesville descended into violence on Saturday after neo-Nazis, skinheads, Ku Klux Klan members and other white nationalists gathered to take America back and oppose plans to remove a Confederate statue in the Virginia College town, and hundreds of other people came to protest the rally. The groups clashed in street brawls, with hundreds of people throwing punches, hurling water bottles and beating each other with sticks and shields. Hundreds demonstrate in downtown Los Angeles for victims of Charlottesville tragedy and against racism credit EPA eventually, a car rammed into a peaceful crowd of anti-white nationalist protesters, killing 32-year-old Heather Heyer. A Virginia state police helicopter deployed in a larger-scale response to the violence then crashed into the woods outside of town. Both troopers on board died. A crowd gathered on the street where the crash happened for a vigil on Sunday evening. They sang Amazing Grace and prayed around piles of flowers that marked the spot where Heyer was killed. Prominent white nationalist Richard Spencer, who attended the rally, denied all responsibility for the violence. He blamed the counter-protesters and police. Horrifying moment car plows into people at rally in Virginia 0104 Mr. Trump condemned what he called an egregious display of hatred, bigotry and violence on many sides, a statement that Democrats and some of the president's fellow Republicans saw as equivocating about who was to blame. The White House later added that the condemnation includes white supremacists, KKK, neo-Nazi and all extremist groups. Some of the white nationalists at Saturday's rally cited Mr. Trump's victory, after a campaign of racially charged rhetoric, as validation for their beliefs. Some of the people protesting on Sunday also pointed to the president and his campaign, saying they gave license to racist hatred that built into what happened in Charlottesville. 
For those who questioned whether oh, don't call it fascism, this should resolve those issues, Reiko Redmond, an organizer of a refuse fascism protest planned in San Francisco, said by phone. People need to get out in the streets to protest, in a determined way.